Want a successful virtual practice? Well, I'm gonna share with you uh, three secrets, not five, three, three secrets that no one is telling you about that you need to know to have a thriving virtual practice. Hey, Uriel Kim here, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. Uh, we help health experts and practitioners fill and scale their practices by working smarter, not harder. And one of the biggest opportunities now, as it has been for the past several years, as it will be even more so in the future, is having a virtual practice. A virtual practice means you can help people all around the world, or at least in your city, your state, or country, uh, without you being physically present with them. And listen, like just like online dating was very taboo and like, no, this is not going to work. There's no way this can work back in the day. Uh, I think we know the reality of the current situation with online dating, Match.com, etc. It's blown up. It's just accepted now. And that's exactly the direction that virtual care is going. And it's already started. However, three things you need to know. And what I'm talking about in this video specifically is going to be you building a business whereby you can acquire new patients and clients using the internet. I'm not talking about tapping into telemedicine where you have existing patient relationships and working with them online, which you can do, but it's also very limiting. What I'm suggesting here is that you're using the internet or remote care as a business model through which is almost independent of a clinic that you have, which means you're gonna to have to find a way to get new patients or clients. You're gonna to have to get the word out, all that stuff. So here's the thing about virtual versus brick and mortar. It is a lot harder to build a successful virtual practice than it is brick and mortar. And the number one reason why that is, is because of trust. When you have a brick and mortar practice, half the battle, more than half the battle actually, is just getting somebody to step into your clinic. As soon as they're in the door, the likelihood of them enrolling or signing up with you is in, like it's crazy, right? It's, you know, most people that come to us are like, yeah, like I just need people in the door. If they come in the door, it's like 70 to 80% of them will say yes to the next step. Now online, uh, 70 to 80% enrollment rate is uh, almost impossible. I've been doing this for 14, going on 15 years now. I've never seen that ever. And the reason for that is because when you, there's no like, there's no storefront, there's no clinic for someone to walk in. It's uh, book an appointment and we'll speak on the phone for the most part. And that's a major barrier. And that phone conversation, although it is the best possible solution for virtual type of conversations, um, it doesn't replace toe-to-toe -to -toe conversations. And because of that, when you're, when you're in the physical presence with another, another human being, uh, there's just a lot of trust and rapport that's built. And yes, you can try to emulate a lot of that over the phone or even on Zoom video, but it's still not the same. So you have to be realistic about the fact that you're gonna have more resistance, you're gonna have more no's, you're gonna have to have more conversations to get a yes. However, with that said, is you need to make sure those conversations are with the right people. And that's one of the reasons that we help all of our clients install a four-step patient or client attraction system called the Perfect Client Pipeline so that only the right people book in a call to speak with you because you don't want to waste time with tire kickers. You don't want to waste time with people who have no idea about what you do and how you do it and why you're different and why you're better. So we need to prime people and make sure only the right people book a call with you. Again, if that's something you're interested in, we have a training called the Virtual Practice Blueprint. Uh, there should be a link below this video. Click on it afterwards, check it out. But for now, let's stay here and I'll stay focused, okay? So first thing to recognize is that it's not easy, okay? You're not gonna have people walking into your clinic because they're not gonna see it. I often say this, the field of dreams does not exist on the internet. Remember the movie Field of Dreams, build it and they will come? Hey, guess what? Have you ever spent good money on a website? Well, I feel, I feel for you because you could have the most amazing looking website, but no one's going to know about it because you're competing with trillions of pages on the internet. 
You're competing against other websites like Dr. Oz, HealthLine.com, WebMD.com, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A local brick and mortar business, yeah, sure. Um, Back Pain Solution Toronto, where I live, yeah, I'll get local chiropractic clinics popping up, cool. But what about if you're virtual? You're competing against the entire world that's on the internet. So you cannot play the same game that you would with your brick and mortar. It's a very different landscape. And if you try to do that kind of stuff, you'll get buried. And when I say buried, I mean no one's going to know you exist. Now, I don't want this to sound morose, but I just want to be very realistic because I've done this for a very long time. I've built two very large companies in the health space online since 2006. I've helped half a million people, thousands of practitioners. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. Just trust me on this one, okay? So the second thing, so we talked about trust. You know, it's not easy. The, the second thing is there's new skills that are required. You cannot build a successful virtual business if you're expecting to just continue treating and seeing patients. If all you want to do is sit back and talk with patients and help them get better, it's not going to happen, okay? And the reason for that, as I said before, is that no one's going to know you exist. And there's nothing more frustrating than having this amazing magic that you have that can transform people's lives and no one knowing about it. And that means you have to acquire new skills, new skills as it pertains specifically to marketing and selling. Oh my God, I said the s and word, sales and marketing. I don't know, there's a lot of heat in the health space around that, around pricing, how much you should charge, all that. I don't want to sound like a salesy, slimy, markety type of person. Hey, get over it. Get over it, okay? The only reason anything happens is because there's an exchange of money. The camera that I'm shooting this on was a sale. The computer you're watching this on or the phone you're watching this on, you bought because there was a sale. Get over it. Sales are inherent in what we do. However, there's a difference between being a slimy, salesy douchebag and doing things in a way that is of service to other people. So you have to learn how to do this the right way because the way to sell in health, I believe, fundamentally is the same as with any other industry. However, there are, some, there are some very important nuances that make it different than selling a car, for instance, right? So developing the skill set of having a conversation with someone that doesn't know you, and then in that same conversation, having them take out their credit card and paying you money to help them solve a pain or problem, just think about that for a second. It is amazing that that can happen. And if you're doubtful that that can happen, trust me, we've, we've been doing this a very long time and we've helped thousands of practitioners do just that. And yes, it's not necessarily easy at first, especially if you have some hangups around selling or conversations that lead to someone giving you money. Um, but we help you get over that, right? If you're open-minded to being coachable. So developing the skill set of selling the most important skill you can ever acquire in your life. I promise you this, if, you know, I've got four boys, if there's one skill that they can acquire in their professional lives, it is the ability to sell. You're always, like this video, every single piece of content you've ever consumed ever is a sales, is a piece of salesmanship. I'm selling you on an idea here that virtual practice is an amazing opportunity, but it's not easy. That's what I'm trying to sell you. If you look at any other video you've ever watched, they're trying to sell you on a couple things that they know can help you on specific areas. Everything is sales, okay? You have, to, you have to develop the ability to influence people. It is the number one success trait of any successful person in business. And the beautiful thing is that selling is serving when it's done properly. It doesn't have to have a negative stigma. And in fact, if you don't know how to sell, if you don't know how to influence people, that's selfish because someone's coming through the problem and because you're not, you don't have the capability to get them to say yes, they continue to suffer. That's the ultimate selfishness. So you have to develop the skill. That's the first one. So verbal communication, number one. Second skill that is absolutely critical to virtual practice success is called copywriting. Copywriting is essentially salesmanship in print, typing on the computer, putting words up on a screen, the post you put up on Facebook, the email you send out, the thing you wrote, 
All of that is copywriting. The ability to put words together in a way that moves people to action is the second most important skill you must develop. Now, as a health expert or practitioner, you might be thinking to yourself, well, there's, I didn't learn this stuff in school. Exactly. That's why we exist. That's why practitioners come to us in flux because we're the best at helping other health experts do this because it wasn't taught to us in school, right? We went through years and years and years of school, invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in a degree to help people and then they push us out into the world and say, have fun with that. But well, what, how do I set up? Oh, we don't know. We, don't, we, can't, we can't give you any advice on that, but best of luck. That's the world in which we live. That's the paradigm we've all been brought up in. Uh, that's not very helpful, right? So you have to be able to be willing, just like you were when you first went to school to learn your craft, be willing to learn and master a new skill set, which is essentially communication, verbal and written. Okay? So that's why it's not super easy to go virtual, but I promise you this, it's the most rewarding thing you could ever do because you're going to impact infinitely more people than you ever could in person. It's gonna give you location independence. So I travel three to five months of the year with my kids and my family. We spend the winters in Australia, right? Stuff like that. I, can't, I couldn't do that if I was stuck in a brick and mortar, right? And I couldn't have done that if I didn't devote myself to becoming the best at this stuff, right? You have to have the mindset to become the best, not just at helping people with their health. That's a given, you're amazing at that. You have to devote yourself to becoming the best business owner, develop the right business skills, the marketing chops to get people who don't know you to know about you and then have the, the trust building bridge in, process, in, the, in place for them to eventually do business with you, right? And that leads me to my third and final secret, which is you need the right system. Everything in business is a system. If you don't have systems in your business, you have a job. And what do I mean by that? Well, here's what most practitioners do is they, again, we've been brought into this world after graduating with like, okay, here's how you help people. You treat them one-on-one, -on -one, trading time for dollars. Uh, sir, but I wanna take a week off. Well, if you do, you're not gonna make any money. That's pretty much, that's a job, right? You're there, you get paid when you do the work. You're not there, you don't get paid. A system is a process that creates um, results and profit for the owner independent of their presence. So you can take a week off and if you have the right systems in place, the majority of your business will continue to function and grow independent of you being there. And the beautiful thing about being virtual is that the way you deliver virtual care inherently is a little bit different than what you do in person in many cases. And because of that, a lot of it can be automated. So if you find yourself repeating yourself a thousand times, there we go. We need to build a system around that. How do we create automated trainings that people can walk through to walk them through the fundamentals? you come in on top for accountability, support, customization. But also you need a system to get a predictable flow of leads and clients and patients into your business. That is the fundamental, most important thing you must start with because if you don't have any people paying you money, you don't have a business. So the first thing you need to master in your virtual practice is how do I get new patients or clients into my business? And in our world, we do that through a four-step process called the Perfect Client Pipeline. It works 90% automatically. The only thing that you do is have a conversation with people on the phone. Everything else is 24-7 automated. Done properly, it gets in front of the exact people you wanna to speak to, exact people you can help. It moves them into your world in such a way that they're the ones raising their hand to be like, I wanna work with you, even if they've never heard of you before. You don't need a website, you don't need a huge social media following, you don't need any of the nonsense that you may have seen online. Like, oh yeah, I got a blog and have a YouTube channel and all this kind of stuff. You don't need any of that stuff. That stuff is fine later if ever you want to do that. But right now, depending on where you are, and even doesn't matter where you are, you need a system predictably that runs on autopilot. Now this channel, on health, this our Healthpreneur channel on YouTube, uh, I didn't start this from ground zero on day one expecting this to drive my business. None of this stuff on YouTube has any measurable impact, at least at the time of the shooting, in my business. I do this because I love doing this and this is a very long-term play for us. But guess what we did from day one is we built the system and now it runs predictably 95% of our clients come through our perfect client pipeline. So anyways, if you'd like to see how all that works and how it can work in your virtual practice, 
Uh, click the link below, as I mentioned earlier. Watch the training, it's called the Virtual Practice Blueprints. It's gonna open your eyes, I promise you, it's gonna be the best use of your time because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this stuff. I'm not leaving anything out. I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step, in granular detail, exactly how to take your magic, how to get people who've never heard of you to be like, this sounds awesome, how do I give you money? And how do you help me transform my health? If you'd like that, click the button below, watch the training. Do it now, okay? Thank you so much for your time, for your attention. I know you've had a lot going on, so I appreciate it. My name is Yuri. If you've enjoyed this, remember to subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of great stuff to help you grow your business and help more people with your magic. Thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.